Now let's return to the Gary McKay Museum in Tacoma, Washington. Gary, this certainly isn't the highest buck car in your collection, but boy, this one tugs at my heart. A 65 Falcon sedan delivery, mm -hmm. unusual. Yeah, there was, there was uh, about 650 of those built. And uh, this one here is kind of a unique story. It's, uh, it was sold new to the state of Washington Department of Fisheries. And it was assigned to a supervisor, so it was never in the motor pool. And uh, they had it for, and I think they had a uh, policy they traded cars every 65,000 or three years. Well, this never got 65,000 until I think it was 1981. It went to a state auction. And uh, it was a 289 two barrel automatic factory air car. And uh, so when I bought it, I kind of had the idea that maybe I was going to put Alt Electric on it and that'd be my car to run around with. And one thing led to another. And as usual, I tore it all apart and did a rotisserie in. Uh, I decided that you couldn't get a, you couldn't get a hypo Falcon. I, I've, I've heard and I've read some articles that possibly there was some built out of Canada, but for the basic production of the Falcons, you could get a hypo in a in a Mustang and a Fairlane, but not in a Falcon. So I decided if I was going to do it, I was going to make it a factory hypo. So it's got the right f uh, nine inch rear end. It's got the uh, factory disc brakes and uh, build a hypo motor for it, which was higher horsepower than a, a, a hypo is 271 horse, this is 340 horse. And it's kind of built with a Cobra theme, it's got Cobra intake and pan and valve covers and air cleaner and then on the inside it's got the Cobra embroidered in the, in the uh, floor mat. And then a good friend of mine gave me the uh, correct uh, Falcon Sprint tack for it so I put the tack in it where the factory tack was so just kind of added some of those things. The, the uh, color of it's the factory color, it was called Twilight Turquoise. And then I, it was kind of that brown they had back then, so we matched the interior to the outside, and it turned out really well. It, these were cheap, economical vehicles, so they weren't, there wasn't a lot of time spent on the quality, the body and fit and finish, and there's hours and hours been spent on it. So now when you look down the sides of it, all the, all the lines, which are several of them on these cars, all line up perfect, the top's perfectly straight, and, it was a real good car to begin with. It had never been hit and didn't have any rust in it, and so it made it easy to make what it is, but, but it was challenging to get that body to look like that.